Posts claim that the telescope captured the object changing its trajectory in an unnatural manner. It was supposed to be a routine observation. The James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors towards an interstellar wanderer, an object named 3I Atlas. But what it detected was anything but routine. This object is firing thrusters, not in the way a rocket does, but through a mysterious force that is making it accelerate. It doesn't look like a very common thing, and we've never seen such a thing. This isn't some distant galaxy or a familiar asteroid. It's a traveler from another star system, right on our cosmic doorstep. And it's not behaving like any comet we've ever seen. The implications are staggering, forcing us to question whether we're looking at a natural phenomenon or something far more deliberate. A thrust from the void. The James Webb Space Telescope has given humanity a front row seat to the cosmos, showing us wonders we've only dreamed of. But what it saw when it looked at 3i Atlas was less of a wonder and more of a cosmic shock. To put it mildly, the object is moving wrong. Comets, as we know them, are dirty snowballs. As they get closer to the sun, the ice turns directly into gas, a process called sublimation, creating a beautiful tail and giving the comet a tiny, almost immeasurable push. This is known as outgassing. It's a gentle, chaotic force. But the thing nobody tells you is that the thrust detected from 3i Atlas is anything but gentle. It's focused, it's consistent, and it's powerful. What many overlooked in the initial reports is the sheer scale of this anomaly. We're talking about an object estimated to be up to nine miles in diameter, roughly the size of Manhattan Island. Imagine the force needed to noticeably accelerate an object that massive. The energy required is mind-boggling, far beyond what simple sublimating ice could provide. The JWST's sensitive instruments analyzed the chemical makeup of the gas trail left by Atlas, and what it found only deepened the mystery. The composition doesn't perfectly match the water ice we'd expect. There's something else in the mix, something that could be providing this extra kick. Many people are crazy about the idea that this is just a weird type of comet, but the data is stubborn. The thrust isn't just pushing it forward, it seems to be making minor course corrections, nudging it onto a slightly different path than gravity alone would dictate. This is the part that has astronomers whispering in hallways and filling up private message boards. Natural forces are messy. They don't make precise adjustments. This looks controlled. We're witnessing an object that weighs billions of tons maneuvering with a purpose. The implications are hard to even process. Is it a natural phenomenon we've never encountered before? Or are we seeing the first clear evidence of technology from another civilization? But not all things are what they seem. Could our understanding of comets be fundamentally flawed? Perhaps there are types of ice we haven't considered, exotic frozen gases that sublimate with explosive force. Some scientists are proposing that pockets of super volatile materials deep within Atlas could be bursting, acting like a series of small natural rocket engines. The problem with this theory is the consistency of the thrust. You'd expect such bursts to be random and chaotic, sending the comet tumbling. Instead, Atlas moves with an unnerving grace. The weirdness doesn't stop there. The trajectory of this object is another huge red flag. It didn't just stumble into our solar system. Its path seems almost optimized. It flew by the sun at a distance that allowed it to pick up a massive gravity assist, flinging it towards the outer planets at speeds exceeding 130,000 miles per hour. It's like it knew the perfect route to take a tour of our celestial neighborhood. This isn't just a random rock. It's a tourist with an itinerary. What it saw next will make your skin crawl. Two of a kind. You see, this isn't the first time we've been spooked by an interstellar visitor. Back in 2017, another object, dubbed Oumuamua, meaning scout in Hawaiian, tumbled through our solar system. And it was even weirder than Atlas. Oumuamua was small, cigar-shaped, and it, too, accelerated without any visible tail or outgassing. It was a complete scientific enigma. The thing nobody tells you is just how hard the scientific community tried to explain Oumuamua away as a natural object. They proposed it was a nitrogen iceberg, chipped off a Pluto-like planet, 
or a bizarrely fluffy cosmic dust bunny, but none of the explanations fully fit the data. What many overlooked was the sheer audacity of the theory put forth by one of Harvard's top astronomers, Avi Loeb. He suggested that Oumuamua was not a rock at all. He proposed it was an artifact of an alien civilization, perhaps a solar sail, a piece of a larger ship, or even a probe sent to investigate our star system. He was largely dismissed by the mainstream. It was too radical, too much like science fiction. But now, with 3 I Atlas exhibiting similar behavior, but on a much larger and more undeniable scale, Loeb's theory is suddenly looking a lot less crazy. The arrival of a second object, behaving just as strangely as the first, changes the game completely. Once is an anomaly, twice is a pattern. Many people are crazy about the idea of coincidence, but in cosmology, coincidences of this magnitude are almost impossible. The statistical odds of two such bizarre objects from different star systems entering our solar system within a few years of each other, both showing signs of non-gravitational acceleration, are astronomically low. It suggests that these objects might not be as rare as we thought, or it suggests something far more unsettling, that they aren't random at all, this forces us to ask a terrifying question. Are these probes? If so, who sent them? And what are they looking for? The path of Oumuamua was strange, but the path of Atlas is, to put it mildly, even more suspicious. It's getting a comprehensive look at our entire system. The similarities are too glaring to ignore. Both objects had highly unusual trajectories. Both moved in ways that defied our models. Both lacked a conventional cometary tail to explain their acceleration. Oumuamua was the scout, the advance messenger. Atlas being much larger could be the main event, but not all things are what they seem. Perhaps Oumuamua and Atlas are part of a natural class of interstellar objects we've never seen before, a new category of comet that behaves in this strange way. The problem is we have no physical model that explains it. To work, these objects would have to be made of something we don't understand, propelled by forces we can't explain. In a way, that's an even more profound discovery than finding an alien probe, because it means our understanding of the universe is fundamentally wrong. The truth might be hidden in a dark and silent forest. The Hunters and the Hunted There's a chilling theory in cosmology that might explain why we haven't found any evidence of intelligent life out there despite the billions of potentially habitable planets in our galaxy. It's called the Dark Forest Theory. The thing nobody tells you is how simple and terrifying this concept is. Imagine the universe is a dark forest, and every civilization is a hunter, silently stalking through the trees. In this forest, you can't know if another hunter is friendly or hostile. If you reveal your position by making a sound, like sending out a radio signal, you risk being discovered by a predator that is far more advanced and powerful than you. The safest strategy for survival is to remain silent and eliminate any other hunter you find. You see, this is one possible and horrifying answer to the Fermi paradox, the question of, where is everybody? Maybe the universe isn't empty. Maybe it's just quiet, because the civilizations that made noise are no longer around. What many overlooked is how this theory reframes the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. We've been shouting into the void with radio telescopes, announcing our presence to anyone who might be listening. The dark forest theory suggests this might be the most reckless and dangerous thing we could possibly do. How does this connect to 3 I Atlas? If these objects are probes, they represent a civilization that has mastered the art of silent hunting. They are not broadcasting their presence. They are sending stealthy, quiet reconnaissance drones to observe. They are gathering information, assessing our technological level, and determining if we are a potential threat. Many people are crazy about the idea of a friendly, Star Trek-like Federation of Planets. But the logic of the Dark Forest suggests a far more ruthless reality. The first principle of survival is to ensure no one else can threaten your existence. This puts the thrust from Atlas in a whole new light. If it's a technological artifact, its ability to maneuver isn't just for exploration, it's for evasion and stealth. It allows the probe to get where it needs to go without relying on noisy, obvious rocket technology. To put it mildly, it's the ultimate spy drone. 
And we, with our loud rockets and our constant radio chatter, are like a baby crying in a forest full of silent predators. But not all things are what they seem. The dark forest is just a theory, a speculative answer to a cosmic mystery. It's born from a human perspective, colored by our own history of conflict and competition. Perhaps the silence in the universe isn't due to fear, but something else entirely. Maybe advanced civilizations have moved beyond physical communication, existing in realms of consciousness we can't even imagine. Or maybe, just maybe, we are truly the first. But as Atlas continues its journey through our system, moving with that impossible, deliberate thrust, the silence feels a little less empty and a little more menacing. Are we about to find out we're not alone or that we are horribly outmatched? A new kind of comet. So, what is the final word on 3i Atlas? Is it an alien spacecraft or just a very, very weird space rock? The scientific community is deeply divided, and the truth is, we don't know for sure. The thing is, this is how science works. An anomaly is discovered, and two camps form. One that seeks a conventional explanation, and one that explores more exotic possibilities. Right now, the conventional explanation is that Atlas is a new class of comet. Perhaps its core is spinning in a way that creates a focused jet of gas, like a sprinkler. Or maybe it's made of materials that react to sunlight in a way we've never seen before. But the problems with these natural explanations are stacking up. The numbers just don't quite work. The energy output is too high, the trajectory too precise. What many overlooked is the principle of Occam's razor, which says the simplest explanation is usually the correct one. And for a growing number of scientists, the simplest explanation is that the object is artificial. It's a tough pill to swallow because it forces us to confront the biggest question in human history. But even the word artificial might be too simple. People watching this are looking for a mystery and the rabbit hole gets much, much deeper. Some researchers are now daring to whisper about theories that go far beyond a simple nuts and bolts probe. What if the object isn't a machine at all but a form of life. A colossal silicon-based organism that drifts between star systems, feeding on stellar radiation. In this scenario, the thrust isn't from an engine. It's a biological reaction, a way for the creature to navigate, perhaps like a squid uses jet propulsion in the ocean. The strange chemicals detected by the JWST wouldn't be exhaust, but metabolic waste. Then there's an even more unsettling idea, that 3i Atlas is not a vehicle, but a seed, a cosmic terraformer. The thrust could be a byproduct of the object actively releasing custom-designed extremophile bacteria, or even self-replicating nanobots into our solar system. Its tour of the planets wouldn't be for observation, but for delivery, planting the seeds of an alien ecosystem right under our noses. From this point of view, its disintegration wasn't a malfunction. It was the plan all along, a way to scatter its payload as widely as possible. Is it possible that we are missing a key detail? But not all things are what they seem. A darker theory re-examines the original breakup. What if Atlas was an automated weapon system, a berserker probe from a long dead civilization programmed to seek out and sterilize emerging life the breakup could have been the deployment of smaller, more targeted munitions, and the piece we are tracking is just one of many, now maneuvering into position. The thrust we are detecting could be its final approach. As we continue to watch Atlas with the JWST, we aren't just doing astronomy, we're performing reconnaissance on a potential threat or a biological wonder. The thing is, all these possibilities lead to the same world-changing conclusion. Whether it's a new form of life, a terraforming package, a weapon, or just a natural object that breaks our laws of physics, everything is about to change. We are living through the moment that will be talked about for a thousand years. The moment humanity looked up and realized the universe was infinitely more complex and possibly more dangerous than we ever dared to imagine. Is 3i Atlas the greatest natural wonder we've ever witnessed, or is it a calling card from an unseen intelligence? The answer is coming. What do you think is pushing this cosmic traveler through our solar system? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this incredible story.